uh, Chris, I mean, Nick, the Aker Baby is here for a white history moment. <laughs> Yes, yes, it nice. is a white history moment, and I'm here. So, this is Nick. Welcome, yes. Um, yeah, I wanted to just quickly touch on some amazing white inventors and engineers that, uh, because a couple of things happened on this day in history, in fact, okay. July 27th. Nice. In July 27th of 1949, in fact, the first commercial jet took flight. It was the the British, the Havilland Comet, and it was the first airplane with, with jet propulsion on it. And it was, like, innovative. Like, it changed the whole... There it is right there. Nice. 1949. 1949? Yeah. 1949. That sounds familiar. <laughs> 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 it's not even that long ago. <laughs> this is the first plane with the jets on it. Really? So which th this, like, halved... Um, flight times like it cut them in half. It changed. It changed everything. Wow! It was. It was a. Uh, it was huge. You know, to put it into perspective, at the time, there was a. Uh, you know, propeller. You know, propeller planes, and there was commercial flying. For example, the Saint Petersburg, um, Tampa line. So, between from Saint Petersburg to Tampa in Florida is uh -huh. twenty three miles, and at the time there was a plane that would take you between them. It would take 26 minutes. That's 23 miles. To put it into perspective, we could drive 26 minutes now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Amazing. this, yeah. So this is like, um, and this was a uh, this plane was built by Geoffrey de Havilland, born 1882 uh, till 1965, and he first flew in 1908 in a plane that he built himself. And um, that's him, huh? That's him. Yeah. He he built his first plane. And Not how people used to dress back then. With, with class. Tie and suit and mm -hmm. everything. What the? I like Joffrey because he was totally determined. His first plane, it, it rolled, it reportedly it rolled, it rolled, it rolled, and then it went straight up and just shattered into a bunch of pieces. Nice. And he's like, well, that's just my first I try, right? I he was right? like, what the? <laughs> he was like, that's just my first try, right? Yeah. He was 27 at the time and he kept nice. going and going. He was the son of a clergyman. He trained as an engineer with various car manufacturers, and he finally flew in 1910 for the first time. He was only only three inches above the ground. Wow. He went on to create this the first jet, you know, that flew in 1949. Why history? Right, why history? Absolutely. The Wright brothers in 1903, the first, the famous first flight ever, right? They white. And on July 27th today as well, 1921, scientists successfully isolated insulin. Now, diabetes was like a was a serious disease for like 3000 years like people didn't know what was going on right right and it wasn't until like 19 to like not even that long ago 1921 that a real therapy for it was created it was by it was at the University of Toronto by a couple of Canadian scientists Frederick Manting and Charles Best and they successfully isolated insulin this hormone from canines from dogs first they induced di diabetes in the dogs and they were they found out that the hormone insulin fixed them. And they're really? like, okay, let's try that on people now. That's it's, amazing. People were dying like from diabetes just before that, right? So it's like thanks to them, right? Uh it's crazy, you know. And I know I think we have Tony on on a hold and it reminds me of one time when he called about black inventions. He was doing that a whole bunch. He was calling over and over again about black inventions. <laughs> And if you, and um, I use this this wealth of information called BlackInventionMyths.com. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just to just to give respect to the to the white inventors that pretty much have invented the world that we live in today, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I remember Tony trying to come up with all that crap, just mm -hmm. making up stuff. Yeah, and there's like countless, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, amazing! Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. White. History Month. Why History Moment? Amazing. July just feels white. It's white. History Month. Thank you, Nick. 
Right on. We got to reflect, folks, and be grateful. Be grateful. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.